Hey there guys, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and I am back yet again with another Firewall Zero Hour video. This video is a bit special because we finally have a look at the Firewall Zero Hour official trophies. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check them out yourself, but I got them from this website here called psnprofiles.com. What I want to do today is just go through all the trophies, go through their descriptions, and what rank of trophy they are, as in bronze, silver, gold. Now you know things are getting close to release when the trophies are popping, so let's just jump right into it. I'm going to read the mouse in the order that they're given, which is probably the order you will see in the game. Well, on your PlayStation menu, I should say. So the first one is the Platinum Trophy which is called Dark Web Legend. Now we all know Platinums are forgetting all the other trophies in the game so I'm not going to go into detail on that one. And this next one here is Hacker and it is a bronze trophy and you get this if you win by hacking the laptop in a solo or public match. I'm sure this is one of the very first trophies you're going to pop. Don't worry about that. If you're the kind of person that likes to hunt down the trophies that one's going to be a very easy one. That's why it's bronze. Next up is the Strength in Number which is also a bronze and this one is got by winning a public co-op training match with all of your teammates alive. It's a bit more difficult now than the last one but still very doable. It's bronze. I'd expect that one to be fairly easy to get. Now this next one here is probably the most interesting sounding one I think in the whole entire list. It's a gold trophy. It's called Hunter. So as a defender you win a public contract match by killing all four members of the attacking team while your entire team is dead. So there's a lot that has to happen there. So first of all, your three teammates have to die and then you have to kill by yourself the entire enemy team and that's how you get this trophy. And you can only get us in a public contracts match. So that means you're going to be playing against matchmaking enemy. You're not going to be in cahoots with them, you know? So that will make it a... Uh, I won't say it's going to be an impossible one, but uh, it'll definitely be a more involved trophy, you know, but hopefully it'll just be one of those things that happens naturally over time and I won't have to hunt for it myself, but I very much like the sound of that one. So the next one is called Knock Knock. So in a solo or public match, you need to breach an enemy blocked door with C4. So this one, another fairly easy one, as long as you equip yourself with C4 before you go in, you can probably get that one straight away as long as the enemy team block off a door. And that is just a bronze. So the next one here is called Too Soon. Uh, it's a silver trophy and it requires you to, in a public contracts match, kill a player with their own C4 by shooting it. This will require you to pay close attention to the enemy and uh, maybe wait for them to place a trap and then immediately pop it off. I think that might be the best way to go about it. Make sure they don't see you, obviously. Kind of use a bit of stealth there. This next one now is a gold trophy and it is called Healer. So in public matches, you need to get 200 player revives using the revive pistol. I don't think there's anything too difficult about that i think that's just gonna be one of those things you'll get when you play it enough you know it'll just it'll just happen one day and the revive pistol itself sounds like a very useful tool so i, I can see a lot of people having the revive pistol next up is bad lads now this one is a silver one and it requires you to win 20 public co-op matches nothing too crazy about that one I think it's just another one that's going to automatically pop for me over time, so I'm not too fussed about that. Next up, we got a bronze trophy called First Blood. So in a public contracts match, kill your first enemy player. This could be the very first trophy any of us will get, maybe. Well, there's another one later on, but this might be the second one, we'll say. Very easy stuff. No need to go on about that one. So we'll skip on to the next one, which is called Executioner. Now, Executioner is a silver trophy, and you need to get four confirmed kills in one public contracts match. So you need to pretty much wipe out the whole enemy team. It's kind of similar to the Hunter one, except it doesn't matter if your teammates are alive or not. You just have to get all four kills. And now I'm assuming here that downs don't count, so you actually have to put them down for good, knock them out of that round. Next up, we got Lone Survivor. This is a silver one, and it requires you to win a public contracts match as the only surviving player on your team. So both Lone Survivor and Executioner, they're like combined together, they make up the Hunter trophy, kind of. It's a silver trophy, so you know, it requires a bit more skill than your typical bronze, but again, I think it'll just be one of those things that eventually happens over time, so not too bad. Next one now is called Payback. So it's a silver trophy, and in a public contracts match, revive a friendly player, then kill the enemy player that downed them. So again, 
just one of those trophies that's gonna pop you know it's nothing too special you'll, you'll get it eventually don't worry about that one next one is a bronze called size matters and in a public contracts match you need to get a long shot kill with a pistol so i thought this one was actually kind of interesting because uh you might have played different games like uh Call of Duty for example or I don't know I can't think of any examples off the top of my head but when you get a certain type of kill it'll pop up on the screen saying oh like long shots or frenzy or I don't know some crazy shit like that so I wonder if firewall will have like something pop up once you kill someone at a certain distance will you get like a long shot bonus or something like that but yeah it'll be interesting to see what distance will be considered a long shot but again it will probably happen just from natural playing you know you won't have to go out of your way for this one I don't think next up is a bronze called no remorse so in a public contracts match kill an enemy while they are reviving a downed teammate this sounds like one of the early ones you'll get as well no trouble on that one at all next up now is probably the easiest one we'll see it's called training wheels it's a bronze and it requires you to complete the tutorial now we don't know what the tutorial is i wonder if it's going to be something like the resident evil 7 tutorial that you're offered to take part in every time you turn the game on in vr mode but yeah that you'll get that immediately and that'll be that so the next one then is the silver trophy called invisible contractor now this requires you to kill 100 ai in solo or co-op training matches i think that sounds fairly simple you get that in less than 10 matches i'd imagine next we have a gold here now and this one is called weapons master and it requires you to purchase every weapon in the game i was intending on doing that anyway so it's no biggie that's going to be it may take a while to get but it will be one of those that are inevitable next we got a silver called hoarder so it requires you to purchase all attachments and equipment in the game so that's very similar to my feelings on the weapon master one it's just it'll take time i'm sure but i will get it so next we have a silver called untouchables so this requires you to win a public contracts match without losing a single teammate i think if you got a good solid squad that's just gonna be a fairly easy one now it is a silver but again i'd say within the first week you'll probably have that one so the next three trophies in a row are like different variations of the same type of challenge you need so it's like bronze silver gold we'll start with the first one which is called deleted emails and this is bronze i wonder is this a reference to hillary clinton's deleted emails or something like that it's pretty funny uh, so in solo or public matches steal 15 pieces of intel so by stealing pieces of intel i I believe that just means hacking the laptop that's how you win the game so pretty much just win 15 games i think or maybe you have to be the person that does the actual hacking and then the next one is kind of the same thing again it's just an increase so it's called change your password it's a silver and instead of 15 pieces of intel you need 50 pieces of intel and then the next one then is election data again sounds like another nod to the 2016 whole election thing which is kind of funny it's a gold and it requires you to steal 100 pieces of intel i think all those are kind of guaranteed to happen as long as you put the time into the game you know you get them easy enough so we're getting towards the end here now so we got like a similar situation here these next three trophies are like different things but like an increased amount so the first one a bronze it's called aim high you need to get 50 headshot kills in public contract matches so i'm not too sure if that confirms that a headshot will be an instant kill or maybe you have to shoot them in the head when they're downed or maybe or maybe getting downed by a headshot counts as a headshot kill i'm not too sure and then the next one then is between the eyes it's silver and it requires you to get 100 headshot kills in public contract matches and then the next one then is gold it's called on targets and you need to get 500 headshot kills in public contract matches now i imagine that will probably take a bit of time it could be one of the longer ones the more grindier kind of ones but you know I'm, I'm planning on putting the time in so i'm not too worried about that one either so the second last one now is a bronze and it's called blind fire now this is kind of an interesting one that you could only really see in a vr game right so it requires you to in a public contract match shoot and kill an enemy that you can't see so pretty much you need to stick your aim controller over a shelf or over a wall or around a corner and kill someone that you can't see on the screen so that's a pretty cool one and then finally we got one that's kind of might be a bit of a contentious one right it's gold it's called scotty neville now i looked this up and scotty neville is australian slang for like a loner like a billy nomads or something like that that's how the australian said maybe it's something that skip says i don't know but anyway it requires you to win 100 solo matches and that seems like the only one i might be like oh this is this it might feel like too much of a grind for me i probably will still do it but you know i'd rather be playing with other people you know so being forced to win 100 
100 solo matches. I don't know. It's definitely one of those trophies that I'll, uh, I'll have it spaced out over time. Maybe just do a couple of them every day and then eventually add up and the trophy will pop. And then I'd say by then the platinum will probably pop as well. And so that's kind of the full list of trophies. There is 10 bronze in total, 10 silver, 6 gold and 1 platinum. So it's not a huge amount of trophies but then again it is a 40 euro game and it has the platinum which is kind of the one that trophy hunters kind of care about the most. I'm definitely going to be planning on platinum this one. Don't know about you guys, I don't know what do you make of these trophies? Are you going to go for, do you even care about trophies? And if you do, are you going to go for these? Is there any of them in particular that you do like or that you don't like? Let me know all that shit in the comments below. I know trophies are important but you know it's firewall so we gotta talk about it we're so close to release now that any bit of information you know just gotta gotta have us gotta help me through the last couple of days here it's only another day for you but it's two days for me it's affecting me mentally now so that's it lads and ladies for this video thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed us please do all the usual shite and i will see you in the next one bye bye